All right, welcome to our lecture online and here we have our second example of how to deal with rays being reflected by plane mirrors but in this case the two mirrors are not situated in such a way that they make a 90 degree angle now there's only an 80 degree angle because this mirror is tilted 10 degrees to the right like that so what will happen to this ray as it bounces between these two mirrors well let's just take it one step at a time and I know that this is a place where a lot of students have a lot of problems once the second mirror is tilted like that and how to look through, uh, how to figure the method to find out where the final beam will go to, uh, that's really what it's all about. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, we have an incoming beam. It makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal here, but that's not the important angle. We want to know the angle relative to the normal of the mirror because this angle right here is the angle of incidence. And of course, since this is a 90 degree angle, we subtract 45 from that, that means that this angle is 45 degrees. So the incident angle is 45 degrees, which must be the same as the reflecting angle. So we can then say that the beam leaving this point right here will have an angle of 45 degrees relative to, um, <clears throat> relative to the normal of that mirror. So now the question is, what is the angle of incidence over here? And now remember that we need to draw the perpendicular to the mirror, which is like this, which is angled 10 degrees below the horizontal because if the mirror was straight up and down like this, the normal, and let me use a different color because I don't want to get things too confusing. So the normal would normally be like this, right? If the mirror was not angled, that would be the normal. It would be parallel to the horizontal there. But because of the, ang the mirror being angled at 10 degrees, the normal now be will be angled down 10 degrees and we'll show you how that changes things a little bit. Alright, so first of all we know that this angle right here, this angle must be 45 degrees and this angle here instead of being 90 degrees of course minus 10 is now only 80 degrees which means we can figure out what this angle must be equal to because we know that the sum of the three angles must add up to 180 degrees so 180 degrees minus 80 degrees minus 45 degrees that makes this equal to 55 degrees. So this is a 55 degree angle. All right, that makes this angle right here, because now we see that this is a 90 degree angle. If this is 55 degrees, we look at this angle. So this angle here must only be 35 degrees, 35 degrees. So what happens here is, and one way to look at it, is for example, if this mirror was not tilted, if it was tilted like this, and we have the normal like that, then this angle, this angle right here would be a 45 degree angle rather than a 35 degree angle, but because it, because it would be 45 degrees towards this norm over here, but because the mirror is not tilted to look like this, this angle instead of 45 degrees is now only 35 degrees. That's another way of looking at it. All right, can't get us off the board. So now that we know what the angle of incidence is, and where's my black pen, now we can figure out where the angle of reflection is. Of course, it has to be, if this is 35 degrees, then the angle of reflection must be 35 degrees according to this normal right here. So we draw it like that. And so we know that this also must be 35 degrees. But notice, since the angle between these two is 10 degrees, that makes this 25 degrees above the horizontal. So if you then want to figure out what the final direction is of the exiting beam, notice that since we have an angle of incidence being equal to an angle of reflection, but the angle of reflection is relative to the norm of the mirror, which is tilted 10 degrees, which is 10 degrees below the horizontal. That means that we, now we can calculate the direction of the exiting beam as being 35 degrees minus 10 degrees above the horizontal. So this is 25 degrees above the horizontal. All right, hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to follow, so let me go through it again. We have an incident angle, 45 degrees relative to the horizontal, which makes it 45 degrees relative to the vertical, which makes that the incident angle. The reflected angle must be the same, these two angles must be the same, so this is 45 degrees. So when it hits this mirror, now we have to figure out what this angle is. Of course, since this is a triangle, the angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. Since this is tilted 10 degrees away from the vertical, this is only an 80 degree angle. We know this is 45 degrees because those two angles must add, to, add up to 90. So this angle here must be 180 minus 80 minus 45, which, is, which then equals 55 degrees. And of course, since this is a 90 degree angle between the mirror and the, and the perpendicular, 
55 plus 35 adds up to 90. So this must be 35 degree angle, which is the angle of the incident beam. And you can draw an a little arrow like that. That's incident beam. And so this is the angle of incidence, which must be equal to the angle of reflection. But since the normal has been turned 10 degrees below the horizontal, because the mirror is tilted 10 degrees this way, then we know that the 35 degrees comprises the 10 degrees here and the 25 degrees above the horizontal, which means the final direction of the exiting beam is 25 degrees above the horizontal. And that's how we figured it out. So hopefully that made sense. Let me show you a couple more examples. So after that, this should be pretty clear.